Take a minute to read this story problem. This is an example of an application of systems of equations. I kind of call it a mixture application. But what I'd like you to notice that in this particular problem, we talk about the value or the cost that we charge people, and this is the dollar amount that was collected because of those charges. This number right here, the 960 admissions, is the number of people who came through the door. So what I'm going to ask you to do or think of when you do some story problems is to think about two statements, one which represents the total of items and the other which represents the value of those items. So, in this particular circumstance, I'm going to let, uh, I'm going to do this over here. I'm going to let A represent the number of adult tickets, because I am ultimately looking for how many adult admissions were there. And I'm going to let C represent the number of children admissions. And I'm going to ask that you think about the fact that there were 960 admissions in total. So I'm going to write my first equation, I'm going to kind of call it my total statement, and I'm going to say that the number of adults plus the number of children should be 960 persons in total. Next, I'm going to ask you to write um, a value statement, and I'll often kind of refer to it as a value statement. In this particular case, $12 each for an adult. So I'm going to put here 12 times A, the number of adults. That would be the value of adult tickets sold, plus children's tickets are $9. So $9 times C, and the total collected was $9,780. And you're all set to go. From these words, you've created two equations with two variables that will allow you to solve for either the adults or the number of children's tickets. We want, in particular, the number of adult admissions via graphing, um, substitution, or elimination. I, I might take both approaches in a couple story problems here. In this particular case, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this equation and isolate the letter C by subtracting A from both sides. Do you see that that will disappear? And you have C equals 960 minus A now. C equals 960 minus A. That's probably a little small. Right here then, I'm going to substitute in for C the expression 960 minus A. So I'll have the 9 times the 960 minus the A. And then I can't forget this 12A over here. And I'm ready to solve this equation for adults. I'm going to go ahead and do it. So I have this 12A plus uh, 9 times 960 is 8640. And then minus 9a equals 9780. Getting a little bit uh, confusing here. 12a minus 9a is 3a. And I'm not going to show this step because I'm running out of room. I'm going to subtract 8640 from both sides of this statement. So I'll have 3a left. And uh, the 9740 minus 8640 is 1140. And then when you divide both sides by 3, um, we should get that A is equal to 380 adults. If I wanted to know the number of children, I would go in here and put the 380 in and subtract that from 960 to find out the number of children. Um, that turns out to be 580 children. And then finally, I'm going to try to demonstrate with my graphing calculator. I'm going to try to put it up on the overhead right now. Um, while I know, I'm going to go ahead and put it up here and, and step away from the camera. I do know that the 380 plus the 580, here's my first check, is 960 folks. And then at $12 a person times 380 adults, plus $9 a person times 580 children, I'm wondering if the total cost. So I am checking my solutions in the two original equations to see if they check. 
The next application that I'm going to share with you is going to be kind of a chemistry problem. It's going to be a problem involving percentages of alcohol. Um, it is a little bit more challenging than this one because this one was pretty straightforward. Here's the number of people attending and here's the value. Um, we'll get back with you in just a minute on that chemistry problem.